Good morning, YouTube. I am just trying to scoop you on what's in the news for you today. Time, there may be all kinds of new ways to safeguard and identify all those things that make each of us unique, our faces, even our fingerprints, even our eyes. Here now with more on the future of technology, NBC's Tom Costello. The year is 2017. You're rushed to a hospital, unconscious with no ID or medical history, but thanks to a microchip under your skin, it's all there. Science fiction 20 years ago, but a biometric reality today. The technology is based on answering one simple question. Am I who I say I am? Already, fingerprints and iris scans verify passenger identities at airports. Within 10 years, that technology may be even more widespread. And look for more complex facial recognition programs that scan a crowd of thousands looking for a single terrorist. Today's facial recognition software starts with the eyes. Then, it maps out the contours of the face and compares that against a database of millions, a database that's growing by the day. What's next? At the University of Bath in England, researchers predict big changes for consumers. I think it is possible to free us completely of our wallets and keys using biometric technology. If that's what people want. Well, my thing there is being charity being used in commercials or promotions of the beat, so to speak. It's just like wake up. Just like a couple years ago, the RFID, now you have um, those same charities going to court saying they want it removed and they can't get it removed. It's like safeguard our privacy or invade our privacy. Because it's a thin line between the two, right?
an old tree. I can see them um, putting dirt across the bottom. I I 
Akala, let it speak. So I guess it's seen in terms of time and I let it speak. Like 30 minutes. I take the onion and garlic and put it in the strainer. And I take a spoon and mash down everything. Make sure I'm getting everything out of it. And then I use them in a dropper. This boosts the immune system. Um, onion and garlic, of course, have a lot of healing properties. But you can deal with respiratory issues. So, um, I made that cook. I mean, heat up to the point where it's sparking in the street. Spark, spark, spark. Now, the serum will give him a little bit of bit of blue food. But it works. I've been doing that ever since he was a baby. And, um, it's ten times better than cough syrup. Um, and I, I still used to buy the all natural cough syrup, but you just never know what you are putting in. You know, you have to be very cautious of the ingredients. Because a lot of stuff is not going to heal, it's just a treat, so we should just buy it. So, um, that's how I went about going into like a natural. Hot syrup, so I call it a syrup. And syrup is probably something to put on the skin, knowing me. But, um, I'll say tonic. My onion and garlic tonic. You should try it if you have any respiratory issues, allergies, stuff like that. It's very good for that. But anyway, um, they imposed a curfew in Milwaukee. Shout out to the Hopper Warrior. Now, in my turn, you um, have been opposed to the Western Union on the Rock this week. The two executive parties are not in front. And it's the Rock of the Rock. We shot and killed a 23 African American in a foot chase. Now, police say a Stillville Smith was armed with a gun, but it wasn't clear whether he was pointing it at the officers. The city's mayor as well. Tom had urged the state agents to do nothing in the legal shooting. Tom brought that to the table. So we keep saying it should have been given any desensitized. Funny. I was having a discussion with my husband yesterday. Um, he was clothes that he doesn't want to go to Utah. And I said, the sad part is you see your brother. Or your sister that you got down the street come in 2015 and it still doesn't urge you to get out.